Joe Biden has a connection to Syracuse, but Syracuse also has a connection to Biden. In the mid-1960s, the future vice president of the United States lived with his wife, Nelia, in a first-floor apartment in the city's Strathmore neighborhood. During his law school years at Syracuse University, the Bidens lived at 608 Stenard Avenue. It means something to me because it's uh, part of U.S. history. So whether you're a Democrat or Republican, um, it's, it's a piece of history, one way or the other. Over the decades, through tragic losses and political successes, Biden's ties to Syracuse have endured. Some are deeply personal, others are purely happenstance. At the time when I bought the house, I was told a senator had lived here for four years with his wife. And then obviously it came out when Joe Biden, I think it was in what, 2008, when he became uh, vice president. Uh, so it became a much bigger deal at that point. And my father actually had that made for me after I had uh, repainted the house the first time. It says uh, Vice President Joe Biden lived here and uh, with his first wife, well, he attended SU Law School. Yet many of those connections remain because Biden never let go of those Syracuse years. He returned to campus many times and he even visited his former home on Stenard. Spring of 2009, uh, there was a huge surprise. So Joe Biden did the um, commencement speech at SU and then visited uh, Bellevue Elementary School uh, where his first wife worked, talked to some school children, and then made a surprise visit with the entire motorcade. He talked about how he loved the neighborhood and he did go into a story um, about when he jumped a fence in a backyard when he heard um, some children uh, bullying another child um, who had, I guess, some, some disabilities. and. Um, he heard it over the fence and he said how he jumped over the fence to protect the younger uh, boy. And uh, that was a big story that everyone got a kick out of. So I did some refurbishments on the house. It was in really bad shape. And when I pulled out the old medicine cabinet that sat inside the wall, um, as I went to throw it to the corner, uh, my father, who's into history, um, came back out and kind of yelled at me and said, what are you doing? This is a part of history. Joe Biden brushed his teeth here. It's possible after this November, Mulligan will need a new plaque.